Hey everybody, I'm Coach Rick. I'm here with Randy Cahooch. And today we're gonna to be talking about his journey and specifically about his knee replacement surgery. So Randy, recently you had your knee replaced, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, so let me yeah. ask you this. Before your surgery, how long were you suffering from the knee pain that you were dealing with? Uh, probably 15 years. 15 years. Yeah, I uh, used to be a dancer. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I was in shape, I was very active, uh, toured the world dancing, mm -hmm. and during that process, uh, I was doing damage to my knee. Okay. Um, it eventually got to the point where I had to quit, and uh, when they tell you you can't do the stuff that like to do anymore, it's hard on you. Oh, so you quit Ukrainian dancing because of the knee? I did, yes. Oh, I see. Oh, it wasn't yeah. just because you nope. decided you were going to retire. Blew my knee out in a, in, a, in a concert performance, and, uh, and that was it. Oh, really? Yeah. So I a few years later, I had to get it scoped. Yeah. Uh, that was in 2006. Mm -hmm. And uh, the doctors told me at the time that they had to take out more of the meniscus than they thought. Mm -hmm. And I was bone on bone and get ready because it's going to get worse. Yeah. And it did. So why 15 years? Uh, why, why did I, why why did did I take, wait? Yeah, why did it take so long before they... Well, I could still do things. Uh, I couldn't, uh, I could still, you know, I could still bike. I could still play some hockey. I could, I could still be active. Mm -hmm. But as time went on, each year that passed, it got worse and worse and worse. So to the point where I started to limp and, yeah. and then I couldn't do the things, I couldn't even do basic um, walking right. anymore. It got to the point where after 20 minutes of walking, I would have to stop put yeah. the leg up and ice it. Yeah. But uh, you still worked out because I saw I saw you on the blue, even though you modified pretty much almost everything. So at yeah. least you kept going that way, right? Yeah, I hooked up with RJ way back when he started out in, in 2006 and yeah. uh, he put together programs for me which were fantastic mm -hmm. and it helped me keep the rest of my body in as good shape as possible. My yeah. core, my uh, uh, cardio, my upper body. Yeah. Uh, and it still allowed me to do some work on the leg so that it didn't wither away. Right. But we all knew that there was going to be issues that I was going to be facing and each year it got worse and right. it, happened, uh, it happened that uh, after about 10 years of that I got, an, I got a referral to a knee doctor and the knee doctor, you know, tells me, yeah, yeah. you're a candidate for a knee replacement but you're too young. Yeah. Oh really? You're yeah. too young? Too young. They wanted to wait until I was 70. <laughs> uh, before replacing the knee okay. and uh, I said no I can't do that my yeah. the quality of life is just not good enough okay so. so the knee has been replaced you got the bionic knee in there correct how many months has that been it's been uh, eight months eight months so yeah. give some advice to people out there who uh, maybe have had knee replacement or are rehabbing their knee you're immediately you're immediate one month after the pain and what are you doing to your knee how are you rehabbing it Start with uh, the pain. The pain is uh, unlike anything I've ever felt before. The, the first uh, week after the surgery, I was really questioning why I did it because the, the pain is, is intense. And really? If you need a new, a, new, a new knee, get it, but also understand that you're going to be facing some of the worst pain you've ever faced. Yeah. But that pain dissipates very quickly. Okay. So within, uh, from that point in time where I couldn't even lift my leg off the bed, uh, which was immediately after surgery, to uh, eight weeks after, on eight weeks after the surgery, I was back on the blue, and yeah. and working working the muscle and trying to get it built back up again. Good. So I remember when you came back, one of your legs was smaller than the other ones, and I remember oh, seeing yeah. what how significant <laughs> that or how significant that was. And I almost thought that's that's crazy. How if yeah. you don't exercise, how your body will, will it just shrink. withers away. It does, and that was actually something that I didn't realize <clears throat> until until seeing it. But I see that you're back to normal now, for Close. the most part. Close. Close. Okay, so eight months later, how are you feeling when you're working out? Uh, feeling great. I still have to modify, mm -hmm. so there's no doubt about that. But working with Andrew and with RJ and with the rest of the coaches, uh, they modify the workouts for you so you can do what you need to do to keep building the strength in the particular mm -hmm. leg, as well as keep all the rest of your body as in shape as possible. Yeah. You can't ignore it because then it just withers away. Yeah, as well, you bet. So. Let me ask you this. So you've been with RJ for several years, over a decade. Go back, if you can, to when you first started with RJ. What advice can you give, or, or maybe you can just tell anybody out there who hasn't quite started their workout journey yet, what advice do you give to that person on before their day one? What are you telling them? Uh, well, I'm telling them if, if, um, if you make the decision to go ahead and get, get yourself back into some sort of shape like I did, uh, you just have to do it. Mm -hmm. you, that, that is the, that's the number one thing. Um, something that my doctor told me was, uh, you know, I complained to my, my general doctor, I complained to her about the knee and the leg and it was so painful I couldn't do anything. And she looked me square in the eye and she said, well, well the rest of you is fine. Mm -hmm. Like the, your arms are still good. Your chest is still, you know, needs work. Your core still needs work. Uh, your, your butt, your back. Yeah. Get off your butt and do it. I know, sometimes and you forget about how good you have it exactly, because you're dealing with one specific exactly. thing, right? So, my, you know, my advice to anyone like that would be, 
if you're if you're post surgery, just do it. Do the exercises that they give you, and yeah. then get out and do even more as soon as you can. If you're pre surgery and you know that you're going to be coming up to surgery, build up the strength in your leg and in your body, and be ready for the surgery because that surgery whacks yeah. you. I think that's probably a very good point, and you, sh you should also do that even um, expectant mothers before you have a kid. Try and get yourself into great shape before Absolutely. you know, and then it's very easy to bounce back afterwards. So, great advice. I do love it. So here's a question, that, and I always want to know this information because I think it's invaluable to always talk to people who are just a little bit older than you to get that life experience. I'm a lot older than you. All right, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> All right, Randy, so let me ask you this. Tell the next generation of people why it's important to stay in shape. The biggest thing I could say to, the, to anybody is, uh, you know, when you get older and as you get older, you're going to be able to do less and less. And it's gonna, you're going to start to notice. Mm -hmm. And you may get down on yourself because you can't do what you did when you're 20. Mm -hmm. And you know what? So what? If you can't do what you did when you're 20, don't let that bother you. Yeah. If you start now though and start working out, you will be a better version of yourself. You may not be as good as you were when you're 20 or in my case when I was dancing and performing, yeah. but I know I'm a better version than, my, than myself uh, than I was you know, 12 years ago. Yeah. And, and that's the key. I can't do all the f kicks and flips and spins that yeah. I used to do. I don't want to. Yeah. But You've been there, done that. Been there, done that. Yeah. But can I keep up with can I keep up with my son? You know, can I keep up with uh, other people that I like to hang out with and do the things that we like to do? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if I couldn't do that, then I don't know where I'd be yeah. if I wasn't uh, no, that's able great to answer. do that. So and that's just good get advice. out there and do it. Yeah, good. All right, so I'm Coach Rick and I'm here with Randy, AKA the Ukrainian, <laughs> AKA the pierogi. <laughs> I want you guys to like, comment, and share this video and we will we'll see, see you on, on the, the blue. blue.